and welcome to Emos Insight. Today we will show a really practical way to see if you are able to discharge in central temperature. We will not require any, let's say, special equipment, we will not require any thermometers, we will not require any data. And this is the point why this video is being created. So you have a really practical guide in order to see what issues you are able or not to face during your next discharge. And first of all, before we are going to deep dive and look how the test is being performed, I would like to introduce you the crude oil washing book that I have specially created in order for the professionals in this industry to avoid any unpleasant situations. And moreover, I have created the Crude Oil Masterclass Advanced Course, which is a, a daily course. It extends seven and more days in different languages, uh, which you're able to check from the advertisement that is following. I will leave all the links below so you can join the material easily accessible, both the book and the course. And let's take a look on the book. So let's start to overlook the overall uh, condition of our crude. It does not matter which kind of crude we have, it can be anything. So we will start to pulling our crude on a container, on a glass container, which is see, it is visible. And the reason why we need the visibility, we will see the reaction and how it reacts. One important thing is that to state here, it is that we do not have speed up the video, we do not have slow down, it is actually how it is. So let's take a look. So as you can see, I'm pulling the crude and this is the actual flow that the crude has. Okay, that is all. It's easy flowing. It is a product which is uh, in the room temperature. So I can say that we have a room temperature of uh, 28 degrees, 29 degrees. So it is really good for flowing on that. And that is the, the temperature is easy accessible by a normal temperature but this is not the point we have the point that okay this is our uh, starting point this is the only reference that we have the room temperature this is the environment temperature and we are traveling from africa let's say to rotterdam or we are traveling from brazil to rotterdam to discharge this crude it is winter and we have not received any instructions we have not received any available instructions any latest instructions because as I am also uh, described in the book uh, the crude can change and they can change the structure depends of uh, anything that it is in its characteristics so it is let's say uh, the molecules and as you have seen some of them can be delayed for a long until you make the test maybe it is the first time that the crude is been lifting it is never tested so what you can do a really practical way is just to put it there and you just fill it with ice so fill it with ice and directly you go to zero degrees temperature so it is zero degrees temperature mix it well so it will be uh, allocated yes both the, the ice and the crude together and then just lift a sample just lift a sample in order to see how it will behave in zero degrees okay if your car go reach this temperature you can see that it's already sticky and it, the drop cannot really separate from the spoon it falls down like pieces like parts but it's not having the same properties so basically the shear pressure increases tremendously this also 
uh, will highly lead to um, a lot of consumption and as you can see how big the pieces are here it will lead also to huge consumption of uh, the boilers and the fuels so basically the discharging uh, temperature it's really important and from this you have seen uh, the importance of the testing as well so in this case in this case we will for sure will face problems and we will face also severe problems with high ROB thousands of and I can say million of barrels are lost it each and every year for the reason because there is no precise uh, loss control there is no precise steps that are being followed and most of the oil majors are, are taking a shortcuts shortcuts really quick decisions without knowing the exact value that they are handling and you can tell me how this is possible oil majors after so much accumulative uh, let's say knowledge and implementation and structure they have and the framework the reason is because the organizations at the moment are changing so much fast they are uh, shifting so much fast and also this influence structure and the shifts became really really rapid so the retention of knowledge is being reduced to minimum and it's not properly even ever documented as it has to be so even uh, this knowledge is being documented it's already uh, very difficult and really uh, let's say time consuming to focus again and start uh, let's say the factory running so that is it a quickly guide and i believe yes from this uh, from this quick tip you'll be able to understand if you will get or not uh, any problems in the crude washing book and also in the advanced course i describe what you have to do in each circumstances and moreover it gives you the advantage to access to a closed telegram channel where you are able always and for entire let's say time to have availability for any questions which is related with the products and all the things so it is a continuous improvement way it is a accessibility of the material which is accessible anytime and anywhere and this is what it makes so much unique because it really works and it creates really a huge value to the industry thank you very much and i hope you will join one of the memberships one of the special memberships that i have created through the years and always has been extended and will extend it further thank you very much and i see you soon bye bye